Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about ROI pooling layer. So in my previous video, we discussed about RCNN object detection family. Uh, there we saw something called as ROI pooling layer. In this video, we will be discussing how ROI pooling works in fast RCNN and faster RCNN. So um, in fast RCNN, uh, what we saw is the image of any size is first getting fed to a convolution network. And that convolution network could be any network, CNN network like VGG, it could be LXNet, it could be HESNet, okay. And uh, that convolution network will give the output as a feature map, okay. Now, on that feature map, we are going to create multiple region of interest. Now, what are region of interest? So, the region on the, on the feature map, where there is the highest probability of getting an object. So they are basically region of interest. And once the region of interest is getting created, it has to pass through ROI pooling. What ROI pooling layer do is, so based on the next layer, which is the uh, fully connected layer, the, this region of interest has to get converted to a specific size. Okay, as it has to pass through fully connected. So all the region of interest should be of some particular size according to the next layer. Okay, for example, it could be three by three, it could be four by four, it could be four by three. So any sizes based on the next layer, it, the, the next layer, the resizing operation is done by ROI pooling. Now we will see how ROI pooling works, okay? So we talked about initial stage of fast RCNN. So let's just take an example of this image where we have multiple objects, okay? And it is of the size 512 by 512. Now it is getting passed through a convolution network. In our case, it is a VGG 16 layer, you know, 16 convolution network. Now, when it uh, passes through VGG16, the output feature map that we got, get is of 16 by 16 size. Okay. And you can see that these are the various region of proposal. Okay. These are the regions where the objects are. Now, when it got converted, when these, this resizing operation was done, obviously, these object size will also get reduced. So based on the coordinates, it will get reduced by 32 times. As you divide 512 by 16, you will get 32. So by 32 times, it has been reduced. Likewise, these also. So let's just take an example. This is the size of 200 by 145. So this also has to be reduced by 32 times. So you can see if we divide 145, by 32 and 200 by 32, we will get 4.53, 6.25 respectively. But it is not feasible to apply the pooling operation on the half pixel. You can see here it is in point that is 2.25.53. Uh, okay, so it has to get round figured. And that work is done by quantization. So quantization basically round off those values to a to a round figure, to integers. Okay. So in ROI pooling layer also, quantization phenomena works. Okay. So if we can see after quantization, the orange one is the final aspect ratio of our object or of our region of interest. You can see that the blue line here, this information, this information has been lost. And the one in green, you can see it has been added extra. So there is a loss of information also and some noise also. Okay, so these are some of the limitations. We saw that this was based on coordinates actually. So the, this is where the, our region of proposals are getting created now, but with the 
loss of information all right now here comes the roi pooling layer after getting this in, uh, after getting this uh, um a, a region of interest and with the aspect ratio of 4 by 6 we will get something like this so this is our final region of interest aspect ratio of 4 by 6 okay now according to the next layer which is a fully connected layer we want our image sizes to be of 3 by 3 okay now again it has to be down sampled now how it will work okay so again the same thing quantization phenomena if you divide 4 by 4 uh, by 3 and 6 uh, by 3 you will get 1 point something and here you will get 2 so that point has been reduced to 1 and 2 as it is whenever there is a four float it is going to convert into integer now if you can see let me annotate to make you understand so this we change the color to something bright you can see this this is of size 1 by 2 1 by 2 because what we got is of 1 by 2 size so it will do the pooling operation with this 1 by 2 stride 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 so the um so what will happen is so it is going to take the maximum uh, the maximum value out of this two and going to save it here in this thing again in sorry in this first um uh, in this first uh, place then it will take the information the maximum uh, value of this two and will going to save it inside this this row and this column again like this like this then again here also it will do the same thing it is going to apply the max pooling on 1 by 2 stride and this is how we are going to create our 3 by 3 size 3 by 3 region of interest with the size 3 by 3 but again you can see here most of the information has got lost now these information we don't have in this in this roi pooling of size 3 by 3 okay so this is how so this is how we we just clear it so in the end we can see that most of the information the one in light blue and the one in dark blue the information has got lost and some noise has got added the one in green and then one in light blue so the one in green only has got added and this is our final um Fine, this is our final region of interest sizes which is getting uh, passed through our ne next layer that is our fully connected layer so uh, this was all about uh, region of proposal uh, if you have any suggestions or or any if you want any uh, particular video to be made by me please let me know in in the comment section thank you